Hello everyone and welcome to a special summer edition of Sports Night. As most of you know, the high school sports season just around the corner and there are going to be some exciting changes here in the Northwest Suburban as three new member schools join the league. We're talking about Irondale, Totino, Grace and Spring Lake Park. Here to talk a little bit more about the expansion, I'm joined by Activity Director Kelly Scott from Coon Rapids and Activities Director from Blaine, Shannon Garrity. Gentlemen, thanks for being with me. First of yeah. all, let me ask you, Mr. Garrity, why the change and why are we bringing these schools on board? Well, the State High School League, and Kelly can help with this too, you know, they have a rule that if teams conference, if they disband, the conference no longer exists, they apply to other conferences, and that's what happened. The North Suburban, it, it, they expand, it just got rid of it. Every left went to different places. So Totino Grace, Irondale, and Springfield Park were looking for a conference. So they applied to different conferences, and once they get rejected by two conferences, my understanding, Kelly is, then the State High School League places them in a conference. And that happened. They applied to a couple different conferences, got rejected because conferences liked their niche, and then the high school league placed them in our league, but we're excited about it. Well, it seems to be a very good fit because both of these teams are geographically very close, and some are, are old rivals from previous conferences. Well, we used to be in the, in the North Suburban Conference years ago. Then we turned into the Twin City Suburban. Um, that got a little bit big, the Twin City Suburban, but I don't think it really got big numbers-wise. I think it got big geographically. Yeah. Um, we were driving to Stillwater. We were driving to White Bear Lake and trying to buck traffic going, going through that stuff. We really don't have that challenge with these three new schools coming in. Um, you know, really, Armstrong is still our farthest drive, and Armstrong was in our conference and has been for about five or six years now. So um, it's going to be a good thing having them in our conference. It's going to give our kids a lot of different different looks. Um, these schools are a lot like us, and I think, you know, speaking to what Shannon was talking about earlier when it comes to, you know, where is a school going to be when they apply, I think when schools go out, they don't just throw applications out there. They look for conferences that fit them, not only geographically, but fit them uh, how many levels of, of sports do you have? Where are you at with the success of your sports? Um, each one of these three schools has, has their different strengths when it comes to the sports that they offer and the activities that, that they offer. So, you know, this is going to be a good thing for our kids. We're, these three schools that are coming in have their strengths, but we're a lot like them. Well, and you talk about uh, some of these schools, the strengths they bring. Of course, mm -hmm. Tatino Grace is a football squad, very successful, and uh, made the step up to the to the bigger class schools. Joined the Northwest Suburban a couple of years ago, and really, in in our opinion here at CTN, one of the best football conferences in the state of Minnesota already in the Northwest Suburban, and just got strong. And I think that's shown itself in the fir their first couple of years of membership. Yeah, I think they fit right in. I mean, they're definitely a. Uh a team when they were playing in the North Suburban football-wise dominated that, and and it wasn't good for them, wasn't good for that conference, wasn't good for kids from, from any school. So to bring Grace into our our league football-wise is, is a great fit for them and for us. Well, and as you talk more about you know the size of uh, the North or the the Twin City Suburban and how spread out it was. Again, you have a 14-team conference in some sports less of a, a concern trying to trying to see everybody in the conference in, in the amount of time you have. But some sports, I mean, you only have in football an eight-game schedule. Well, it's, you know, football is, is, is the challenge, and that's why we went to divisions for some sports and some sports not. Um, we've got the North Division, uh, which is the five in Okehennepin schools. We've got Centennial and Elk River. And then you've got the the south, or um, not south, the west division, northwest suburban, the west division, which is which is the rest of the schools. And you know, I think one of the things that that the Noka Hennepin uh, schools wanted were, were to stay together and continue those natural rivalries that we have with each other and like to play each other. Um, but I think that that it's been split up pretty well, and I think you know that we will will compete well with. All schools will compete well, and, and like Shannon said before, it, it really and truthfully, when we look at things, it's about what's best for our kids. And bringing those schools in, you know, if they get dumped into the Lake Conference, the Lake Conference is a very, very strong conference. Um, but those schools that were looking for a place to be, they didn't fit in that conference. They fit in our conference. It does make us really big. And I know that a lot of people look at that and don't understand why you know, we wouldn't have just sent those three schools down to the Lake Conference. 
Well, that's why, because it's not going to be any fun for the kids to be down in that conference. Not to say that we're afraid to play them in anything, because we're not. But we want to be at a, at a place where our kids can compete and, and have an enjoyable time doing it. Well, and that brings up another interesting point. You know, the Northwest Suburban continues to grow. You had Armstrong added from the Lake Conference a couple of years ago. And in some sports, we, we still see, you know, they we have to, the Northwest Suburban has to give games to some of those Lake Conference teams to make up the rest of their schedule. But uh, now you're adding three more when another, when the North Suburban disbanded. What is it about the Northwest Suburban that makes it grow and thrive while some of these other conferences are having a tough time attracting enough and keeping enough member schools involved? Well, I think it's the quality of the teams in, in our conference. I think we're all very similar in, um, in our school sizes and what facilities we have. We're, we're a little bit different than the lake where we don't have the large facilities or large school numbers. So I think the Northwest Suburban Conference looks good to people. It's very appealing. We're good. I mean, I think we have very good competition. It's appealing. We're, we're a normal, average schools, and, and Spring Lake Park fits right with us. Irondale fits perfectly with us. So, uh, you know, Grace it has a little bit of difference because they're a private school, but I think they fit with us. And the other thing that I think is really important is, is Kelly talked about rivalries, old rivalries. You know, Spring Lake Park kids, half of them live in Blaine. So the Blaine Spring Lake Park rivalry that used to be is now going to be again and we love that that's fun because we know half those kids so i think it's just this whole new conference of 14 is really good for everybody you know and i think another strength of our conference too when when you talk about that you know people look at how our activity directors get along um we do we we get along with each other we're generally concerned with with how our sister schools are doing and we want to make decisions that are good for all we're not, you know, we represent our school, and we definitely want to want to represent our school, but we do that with the whole conference in mind. And I don't think that you can say that in, in all the conferences right. that are around the metro, let alone out state. Um, so I, I'd like I like to think that you know when we go to the state AD convention, it's it's always Northwest Suburban Conference ADs. We're always hanging out with each yeah. other, and we yeah. and we enjoy each other's company. We generally do. And and you're you know we'll we'll battle it out in a in a meeting, but at the end we walk out of that meeting and we're united. Yeah. Well, and I, I'll tell you after you know this is 17 years we've been covering uh, sports here at Coon Rapids for CTN Studios, and yeah. one thing that has always impressed us is there are great rivalries within this conference, but there are also close rivalries. And, and Shannon, I think you touched on it a little bit. You know, a lot of. Blaine kids live in Coon Rapids. A lot of Spring yep. Lake Park kids live in Blaine. Naturally, those those uh, rivalries and you have Andover is very close. Right. But but all the way across the conference, it's kind of unique, I think, in that they are rivalries. They are heated rivalries, but they are also friendly rivalries. Yeah, that's what I like it, about our conference. And Kelly touched on it again, is we are pretty close friends. Uh, our kids know each other, and they will fight it out on the field. But it, it's really fun to see after games. When kids are done competing for 48 minutes or whatever the sport is, then after the games they're going through lines, they're shaking hands, they're slapping each other, they're hugging each other because they play together. They've been competing for years together, and to have them play together is really a special thing. It's, it's really good for our kids. Well, and I think I think this hopefully will turn out to be an incredibly positive thing for every school within and the Northwest Suburban as a whole. But what are some of the difficulties that you think we may face here, especially in year one or year two? Well, I think, you know, off the athletic realm, one of the biggest things, probably the biggest thing that we do in our conference is our, is our music festival. Um, and that usually, with how it's been in the past, is we take one day out of, it, it rotates from school to school to school each year, and that school's out for that day. And we have the music festival there that whole day. Well, we can't do that with 14 different schools. We, we can't, and, and when schools go there, they bring their band, they bring their choir, and they bring their orchestra. That was a huge point of contention when we started doing this was, what are we gonna do with the music festival? And so we got people together and they collaborated and did a great job as we always do in this conference and they came up with a really good plan, but that was a challenge. And I think another one of the challenges is coaches, just like kids, just like anybody, they don't really like change. They, they enjoy, they, which is, goes back to what Shannon was saying when we rejected schools out of our conference. We love how our conference was 
and we love how it is now, but it's, it's a change thing. It's something that you have to work through. And I think that, that just getting our coaches buy-in with our initial look at what we're gonna do during the se this upcoming season was a challenge. And we'll reevaluate after this year is over, but you gotta start somewhere, and this is where we're at. So that's probably the biggest challenge. Yeah, well, I would agree. The other challenge might be Irondale and Spring Park schools aren't quite as big as some of our bigger schools in our conference. So we might have some problems filling lower level games. But that happens right now in our conference. What we do as AD is we get together and, and if we're talking ninth grade levels or 9B levels, then we make a conference within the conference to make sure kids are getting them the right amount of games. But that is another small challenge, but nothing we haven't overcome before, so I, I don't see any issues. Yeah, you, you mentioned that, and you know you look at some of the schools, and you touched on it a little earlier with the size of the schools in the Lake Conference. Uh, a lot of big schools here, in, in especially in the Anoka Hennepin District, right. Blaine, Anoka, Coon Rapids, uh, Champlin Park, all very large schools. And then you have Andover, which uh, I've been impressed with, obviously. We've been doing this longer than Andover has existed. Andover about half the size as, as a lot of those schools. I, I know a lot of people out there probably don't realize that Andover population student wise is is much much smaller but has always found a way to compete on the high levels uh, with all of the big guys I mean they've got good youth programs and you, uh, Shannon will tell you the same thing you're only as good as your youth programs mm -hmm. and you know we've got and and how well your coaches work with those youth programs Andover did that they they've got great youth programs you look at their Soccer Association, North Metro Soccer, that's a great feeder for their soccer programs. Their youth football program is, is very good and, and thriving in Andover. Um, baseball is combined with, with Coon Rapids American, uh, I'm sorry, Coon Rapids Andover American, I better say it right. Um, and, and so, you know, they've got great feeder systems that are they're feeding things. I, I work all the time with the, uh, with the Youth Association for Basketball over there. And, and I know that that's a thriving program. So, you know, they've got strong youth programs and that's, what, that's really and truthfully what, what feeds and makes your programs what they are at the schools. Now you gotta have great coaches at, at your schools that are gonna take the talent that you got coming in and do something with it, but. All right guys, that. just a couple minutes left. Gary, <coughs> what are you looking forward to most in this, uh, this upcoming school season? I think kids seen other schools. I think kids, uh, you know, playing against Grace and Spring Lake Park and just getting those rivalries back together. I'm excited for that. Coach Scott, same thing for you. <laughs> I, I, you know, I hate to piggyback on Shannon, but I, I really and truthfully, that that's I'm looking forward to seeing how it does all fit. I'm looking forward to, to seeing, you know, is our are the new formats that we've chosen? How do they work? And the challenge of if they're not, what are we going to do about it? So. You know, that's those are the things that I look forward to. Well, gentlemen, thank you for for joining me today. All very excited to see how it all works out, and we will get our opportunity in just a couple of weeks. We'll have a sports night preview show for the fall season coming up by the end of August, and then we are into full time broadcasting of Coon Rapids High School sports. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us to continue to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, I'm Joe Young saying good night.